Serengeti Golf Club has staged two SA Opens. The Jack Nicklaus design was built to host tournaments and to provide a formidable test of the back tees. It's home to Sunshine Tour Pro Stuart Smith. We're lucky to have a track like this that stays in a good condition even throughout winter where most of the courses in Gauteng because of the frost etc I mean it kills a lot of the grass so I find it's a good challenge it's almost as if being at the Cape sometimes or at the coast because <laughs> it can blow quite heavily here so uh, I mean I enjoy the track I try and play it when I can obviously we try and play different tracks yeah. all over but the, the guys have been good here especially to the pros um, so it's always welcoming to come back and play and it's always a nice challenge. Serengeti is also designated a wildlife estate with ecology very much to the fore. Guys look after it quite well and I mean you've got people that are living on the estate that obviously need to adhere to the rules and etc. I mean they've got a lot of land here. Um, I think it's quite fortunate to have that much land. So I mean there's a lot of chance for wildlife etc within this eco state. So I think what they've done is uh, a good idea. I think Joburg needs something like that. I mean in terms of how big the city is. So to have something and to live on in a state like this it can make a huge difference to a lot of people whether they that type that enjoy the openness and the wildlife. Stewart counts himself in that category. He also counts himself as a bit of a pioneer for golf in his country of birth, Botswana. It's a little slow to start off with. We've been trying to push a lot of the uh, youngsters through the last 10 years. Ever since I was about 14, 15, we've tried to push through some of the, the younger golfers. It's still trying to get to, I mean, Zim standards and Zambian standards, I mean, we just don't have the numbers, um, first of all. So hopefully we've got a couple of coaches there now. We've got guys doing their PGA through South Africa. And we're starting to get guys to try and get more involved in the game and just, you know, kind of, we want to be noticed somewhere. So, so far so good. Uh, it's a slow process. you just got to be patient, that's all. He's having to be patient himself in the pro ranks, but he looks back on a good showing in the amateur game. I actually had quite an exciting amateur career. I got to represent Botswana in a number of occasions. I played the Junior All Africa, the Senior All Africa, then we ended up playing the Eisenhower. And yeah, I played a little bit in South Africa and then I felt like after a while I kind of wanted to see how good I could get and turn pro and then go from there. Started in 2012 and yeah, I think I've been fortunate to have a, a decent amateur career. Probably not the best, but I mean, I didn't really play as much as I wanted to in school. So, you know, I was fortunate enough to have a, a good amateur career and I'm quite happy playing on the pro circuit so far. He's had some nice finishes along the way and he's growing more and more comfortable. It took me a couple of years to get used to playing with all the up and coming pros, the ones that you, you hear about before you've yeah. stepped on the scene. But in the last couple of years, I've gotten a little bit more comfortable. It's always not great going back to tour school but I mean I've kind of strived through tour school and just played some of my best golf which I now need to obviously put into some of the Sunshine Tour events so I have a feeling the first win is around the corner I mean I've been playing well I've been missing a couple of top tens making a couple of top tens um, it's just about having one good week um, and it all falls together and it kind of comes into place where you have your best week and everything is just going the way you want it to. So yeah, I've settled in quite nicely. I've got to know a lot of a lot of the guys on tour, so you make quite a lot of mates and yeah, I, I really enjoy it. I'm in a comfort zone at the moment. Recent results include a heartening top 10 finish on the Big Easy Tour at Kempton Park. Actually really happy with my game at the moment. I've actually had uh, I've started playing really consistent since the five years I've been on tour. I feel like I'm playing really good. There's a lot of low rounds in me that obviously I just need to get into the tournaments, just keep competing. Eventually the scores will get better and better and just keep working on what I've been working. And so far as a team, we're quite happy where we are at the moment. His team, no doubt, makes sure he's enjoying things on and off the golf course. I used to go on quite a lot of fishing trips. Um, I'm not the best fisherman myself, but uh, I enjoy uh, a bit of fishing outdoors, camping with the boys, especially if we're doing a bit of tiger fishing. That's probably one of my favorites. And just the whole kind of going to game parks and that sort of stuff with friends, family. I don't do it often, but 
I can call that one of my hobbies because when I do have a chance and everyone's up for it, I'll definitely take the chance to do it. So we asked him about golf in Botswana. What about golf in South Africa? The level of golf obviously is improving a lot in SA and I mean we have a lot of mini tours that are popping up so it's giving a lot more players a chance to raise their game and obviously prepare for Sunshine Tour which then prepares you for European Tour, Asian Tour etc. So I think having the mini tours as a start before Sunshine Tour is a great opportunity for a lot of youngsters especially guys that are still in school. I think from a player perspective we have great courses, we have great weather, I mean we have a lot of tough courses, um, so that kind of sets the same sort of standard for like Europe or Asia. I mean we, we've got all sorts of hot and cold places, windy weather, rainy weather, and I just think it's a combination of all of them. Yeah, and just with technology as well, things are just on the up at the moment, and I mean we have a a hell of a lot of golfers in, in SA at the moment that are wanting to compete from all over. So it's good for golf, it's yeah. good for Sunshine Tour as well. And yeah, we're all trying to get up to the top somehow. 27 year old Stuart Smith, a player on the up. And it sounds like he knows the steps he has to take to get there.